Hello and welcome to the Connects Wars channel. My name is Caden McIntyre and I will be your host for my first series of Robot Wars. We have 36 robots competing in our first tournament. Each week we have 6 robots in each heat to fight for a place in the end of series final. Let's take a look at the battle board for round 1. We have Minion vs Dropsaw, BJ vs Axile and Alienator vs Shredderator. The three robots that win their battles goes through to round two and only one of the three losers will get a wild card in advance into round two. Let the carnage begin! Our first robot to enter the arena is Minion, armed with the lifting arm, which should be pretty dangerous to lift robots and slam them onto the arena walls. He's also got a rear spike to stab robots. The main weakness of the robot is that if he gets flipped over, it takes time for him to start right which gives everyone else a good chance to get him out of the arena, as if they can. So let's hope that Minion can perform well in our first series of Robot Wars. And here's his opponent, Dropsaw. This is a pretty cool looking robot with a front ramming blade, and he is armed with a blade at the top, which is connected to an extending arm, which comes down when the blade is active, to slice robots in two. The machine can also start fun if it gets flipped upside down. The weakness is that it's got a high ground clearance and can be very vulnerable to robots with lifting and flipping weapons. Okay, it's the first fight of our first episode. Now, what I'm going to do is get the stopwatch ready. Now, this has a three minute timer on it. Alrighty, let's begin in three. Two and we're off! Minion versus Dropsaw. Immediately Minion gets stung underneath Dropsaw. Now Dropsaw's got this saw blade which should be lethal against the Minion machine, which is a pretty little robot, small, but he's got a powerful lifting arm and a rear ramming spike. We should do some damage here. Because Dropsaw's getting flipped straight over there. We should not worry Dropsaw too much due to its Spinning blade, which comes right down to Minion. So if Minion can avoid Dropsaw's spinning saw, then he'll be able to cause more damage and impress the judges. In fact, he's trying to flip Dropsaw out of the arena and drops himself right, but he flips himself out, and that's about it for Dropsaw. That was a very quick fight. Dropsaw was just foolish to self right there. And he knocks himself out, unfortunately. That is a shame, but Minion will go through into round two. First into the arena is BJ, a four-wheel drive robot armed with a mighty hammer to smash your head in, basically. The machine has got a very high ground clearance, but the main weakness is that the axe is top heavy, which can actually force the body to flip over. He is capable of self-writing, but as long as the hammer doesn't flip the machine over, it is well driven and could cause some chaos in the Robot Wars arena. And here's his opponent, Axile. One of the most unique of the robots, with a full body spinner, he also can ram you with spikes. He can also run upside down and use a spike weapon as a big wedge blade to negate any weaknesses of robots with high ground clearance. The machine's weakness is that it's just the lightest in the heat and can be easily flipped out the arena. Alrighty, our stopwatch is set. We have our secondary fight, which is BJ, which is a pretty cool looking robot. With a big axe on the top. And he's going to be up against Axile, which is running upside down this time to get that wedge into play. He also has hammers on the side to spin on the spot. Pretty cool looking robot. Alrighty, in three, two, and we're off. Big slam by Axile as BJ uses its hammer. Now BJ's going to use that hammer to try and damage the internals of Axile because BJ's got a very good drive system, four wheel drive system there, which should be good enough for pushing robots into oblivion. Of course, BJ's hammer is pretty lethal actually. How much damage would he cause to Axile's very uh, sturdy armor, which is in the center, which is where all of its uh, protective motors and everything is. Of course, Axile's trying to use its wedge. Axile's got to try and push back on BJ. 
And of course the BJ. Well, he's got more pushing power, it seems, compared to Axel, who's using a spinning device, which is like a full body spinner, which could do some damage to BJ. Of course, BJ is using its hammer to wreak havoc onto Axel. Of course, Axel now, that's a big slam. Axel's trying to use its, its spikes, which is uh, recent. The meh. Although the spikes are not really the most effective, but the wedge is standing into BJ and BJ flipping itself over. Like a control here, BJ. You need to get your... You need to get into gear and just start focusing on driving a robot or else you may end up in the scrap heap. More like out of the competition. Moment BJ's trying to survive and Axel's lifting up BJ. So slamming up the arena. Oh, BJ. Mind the arena walls, BJ. Damage our arena, you have to pay the bill. BJ's using its hammer, which is pretty effective at the moment, not causing much damage to Axel. Uh, BJ's keep on flipping itself over. Now BJ's gotta be careful against Axel. Axel's got some damage done to its side hammers, it seems. Now the judges will take note of that. Since those side hammers tend to be uh, straightened a bit now. Of course, the side hammers are mainly there to wreak havoc on the robot. Of course, Axile is using its, uh, trying to use its pushing power. Of course, the most pushing power to the two is BJ. Well, Axile is pretty brave. Charging at it with the wedge, which can also be used as a spike device as well. BJ is trying to use its axe once again. He's slamming down on Axile. We've got 30 seconds left on the clock. For the judges have to make a decision here. Because both of these robots are unable to knock each other out. Although BJ's lack of control is letting it down. Oh! As you can quite clearly see, BJ, it's a powerful hammer that is. We're coming down to the last few seconds of the fight. There's a big saber to the side wall there. And the judges will have to make up their decision. Make sure the arena's not falling apart. I had to do this after a while, or else my arena's just gonna go. <laughs> Alrighty, so that was an interesting fight. Now we know that BJ lost control a few times, however, he managed to land a good few blows onto Axile, although Axile managed to push BJ into the side walls a few times. But on a very close judge's decision, the winner going through to round two will be BJ. The first robot to enter the arena is. Shredderator! This is a pretty cool robot with two spinning blades on each side which should cause damage to robots with exposed wheels and tyres. The machine does have a couple of ramming spikes at the back to push robots into the wall. The weakness is that the weak construction and cannot start right. That's going to be a big problem in this series of robot wars. And here's his opponent, Alienator, armed with a giant plough on the front which is designed to deflect spinners and ram them into walls. It's also a flipping arm as well, so he can flip robots over, and if he wants to, he can use the entire weapon as a powerful axe to slice robots in two. The machine also has ramming spikes at the back. There are some parts of the robot that another wedge can get underneath and flip it up, but the machine's got a very powerful flipper and looks very dangerous. We have Shredderator. She has two little spinning weapons, so has rear spikes to push back on robots. It's not very strong though, and it does not self right. So this will be a perfect opportunity for him to be flying out the arena because he's up against Alienator. This machine is armored with a big heavy duty front plow, which is spinner proof, and it can flip robots. And it can also be used as a hammer weapon. It's pretty neat, it's inspired by a legend in early seasons of our Robot Combat show. Of course on the Kata McIntyre channel, it's based on madness. <coughs> Alrighty, two robots are ready. Start the clock in three, two, and we're off! So can Shredderators, Shredders, do some damage to Alienators, heavily armoured front now, at the moment, it's not doing too good. Oh, that's a big impact into the side wall there. 
A shooter radar is not designed to withstand heavy impacts. 88 is front plow is pretty lethal. And of course, shooter radar needs to be mindful when he's up against Alienator here. That big flipper is pretty powerful. Of course, Alienator. Oh, flip Shredder Aether straight over there. Because Alienator now. Oh, <laughs> using the plow. Smashing the arena in the process. I don't know if you can see, but some of the arena's been damaged. Alienator's got some decent speed there. The clock will stop at Alienator. That machine's got some... Pretty good strong arm and it's well driven so this machine would be a quite a challenge. Right, here is the lineup for round two to come in a later fight. Alienator will fight Axar, a wildcard entry. But first up, B2 against Minion. We've got BJ with its powerful axe against Minion with its lifting arm. This robot was pretty good though, had a pretty quick win against the drop saw. Of course BJ managed to survive against Axel, who managed to go through by a wild card. Alrighty, in three, two, and we're off! So can BJ cause havoc to the little robot which is Minion, although BJ's lack of control is going to bite it in the bum there, and immediately it flipped itself over. Well, BJ's got to use its hammer. Good axe blow there and damaging the top of the robot, which is the mast. This is a self writing mast, which is designed to self write minion. Well, the minion's now using its rear spike to slam into the side of BJ. Well, BJ's got, oh! Hopefully, some strong enough wheels because BJ's suffering some punishment at the moment. He's now trying to use its four-wheel drive. Look at that, it's a good slam to the side wall there. <laughs> BJ's going metal! The axe blade. They're stuck together. Now these guys will have to separate. Let's demonstrate it there. The axe blade is coming down. BJ, oh, Minion, be wise to it. To BJ's pushing power. But BJ's axe is pretty strong. But is it strong enough to damage the minion though? Minion's got some reasonable armor. Of course, BJ is now just flapping around. All it does at the moment is just flapping around with its axe. A lethal robot though. Another axe blows with a central robot. Where's Masters? How painful would it be when you get hit in the mast? Oh, it's a slam there. Oh, now Bash is almost out of the arena. Now if Minion can shove Basher, now Bash is trying to use his wheels to get back on the wheel, on the floor there. He just managed to get back down. Bash has some good driving here. Of course, Bash is still not getting away. BJ is the robot that's competing at Bash we knew before. There's a slam there. Uh, about just over 30 seconds, and of course, BJ. Both wheels are on the ground. BJ flips itself over. Oh! There's a couple of hard impacts there. More slams. Oh, can he get about the arena? Oh! He hits one of the judges in the head. Oh, wow! BJ survives. BJ is uh, staying in the arena. Now BJ is doing a good job of just staying in there. He's trying to get him out. Because Minion's a good robot here. But BJ's trying to cause havoc. Minion's trying to push back. And the judges will have to decide on a very good battle between BJ and Minion. The judges will have to decide. That's going to be a close call. Now what the judges reckon is that that was a good fight. Uh, the judges, uh, of course, were not expecting uh, to have a hit in the head with BJ's hammer. But there you go. They're only toys, so they're fine. Anyways, the winner going through to the heat final will be the Minion. He'll go through to the heat.
title. Let's bring on our next fight, which is Alienator and our wildcard robot, Exile. We got Alienator with its good flipper. This thing was very impressive. Didn't take long to dispose of its opponent, which was the Shredderator, which was not really that good, in my opinion. Also, as you can quite clearly see, I am adjusting the arena. And also, uh, adjusting the... Well, the judges who got smacked in the head in the last fight. <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> and he's up against Axile, who was uh, the best robot that, com that performed in the first round. And he just got a wild card, and now he's back for a second chance. Hopefully to uh, get past this one. This one's a very awesome robot, though. We'll find out how it's gonna cope. In three, two, and we're off! The Canadianator! Smash Axile out of the oh, arena! Immediately Axile now, he's stuck to the arena floor. He's stuck on the wall there, and can he get off? Yes, he can! Wow, Axile's uh, off the arena floor. Of course, the uh, spinner. Because Alienator's not scared of spinners because of a heavily armored scoop there. Of course, Axile needs to be careful of Alienator because of its lifting device. Oh, oh it smashes the arena. That's a big slam into the arena. Of course, the arena. I'm going to repair that. <laughs> I'll repair the arena as it falls apart. Oh, it's just not going to be safe for the audience. Alienator's destroying the arena. And destroying Axile and flipping it out of the arena. Alienator. Oh, the Axile tried its best. But it just cannot survive against Alienator. That thing is too powerful. And he'll be up against Minion in the heat final. And the winner of the next fight will go into the first. It'll be the first robot to go through into the end of series final. That will be exciting. Okay, our heat final: Alienator versus Minion. Can Minion survive against the dangerous Alienator? We will find out. Let round three begin. Okay, now it's a heat final between Minion with its lifting arm and its rear spike. As you can quite clearly see, just adjusting its wheels a little bit so it's all fully fit to compete against Alienator. Now this thing, this thing's also got ramming spikes on the rear. This thing is pretty awesome. Plenty of pushing power. I'm liking this machine. See how it competes in the series. Alrighty. Let's hope the arena can hold up. In three, two, and we're off. So it's Alienator against Minion. Now Minion's a bit fairly well driven, hopefully. So hopefully he can be able to survive against the Alienator, who's a lethal machine. As you can quite clearly see he's using the ramming spike to get Alienator lifted up. Uh, Fred, now if Minion can get underneath Alienator, he can probably cause a lot of havoc. Whoa! And he does! Hey, look at that for Minion! Getting underneath Alienator! He causing all sorts of havoc. Now if Minion can get Alienator out of the arena, it's a really major surprise! Because Alienator, oh hey! Using it! Blade as an axe! That's what Alienator's main weapon is! Basically a powerful axe blade there, they have both Stuck. Alienator burying his blade in there. Basically, it can be used as an axe if it wants. Also, a powerful flipper. It's Alienator once again. Getting lifted up by Minion. And Minion's trying to get it out of the arena there. So, Alienator's going to try and get back in there. We'll flip up Minion. Ho ho! Get attack from Minion there. Now Minion needs to be mindful against Alienator. He's trying to get away. There's a slam by Alienator. Now Alienator, once again these robots are stuck. They will be freed, of course. Now they will remain stuck for too long. We are allowed to separate them. Now Minion's trying to flip Alienator over. Well Minion's in trouble here now, Minion. Get back in the arena there. Oh, it's a big slam! Minion can sell right. Minion's a pretty well driven robot here, and Alienator's having some problems here. Quite clearly seen, now who's got the most power? At the moment, it's Minion and Alienator are fairly even. Oh, and Alienator 
to get to Minion Hour. Oh, I did so well. And we only had one more minute to go. And then Minion would have survived and went to the judge. But Alienator. Wow, just too powerful. Wow, so we got Alienator that will go through into the end of series final. And we'll see him next time in the grand final episode of our first series of Robot Wars. That is a shame that Minion just could not do it. However, that's Robot Wars for you. Stay tuned for episode 2 of Robot Wars. As always, my name is Kaden McIntyre. Thank you for watching.